It's uh, Christmas Day, and uh, just taking a little walk here with the dogs. And uh, it's real pretty right now. Got green grass. Charlie's got a pond. Go get him, Charlie. Labrador is like water, and so this is kind of a treat. <laughs> oh yeah, drink it, it's mud. There you go, that's healthy. She was running through there before. Now she's all of a sudden swamp dog or something. I don't know what's going on. Anyway, yeah, it's real nice. We're gonna get rain, I guess, this afternoon, but right now, blue skies, real pretty. Low winter sun right in the camera, of course. There we go. Uh. Charlie, what are you doing? Charlie, come here, come on, come on. Charlie, Charlie, come on, come on. All of a sudden, <laughs> I don't know what's going on. I cut down all these trees here, and in a way I like it because there's a lot more sun here. Of course, uh, we do have to look at the uh, militia compound over here, but oh well, that's the mesa. I'll walk the fence line and check for holes, make sure the dogs can't get through. All part of the prison system here. Look at this white picket fence, but it's also got barbed wire in between the pickets or in between the rails. And then this is chicken wire hair and it goes down into the ground. And that's uh, mainly to keep the white dogs out, but the barbed wire is to keep the coyotes from jumping through the rail. They want in, they got to go all the way over. So far, so good. There's Mike's house up there. I think everything, most things survived. We had a little frost, and it's not too bad. Over here. I don't know where the white dogs are. Oh, there they are. Spotted them on the hunt. <laughs> this is a part of the tour you may not have had. The water tank, 5,000 gallons, and uh, that's the well, I don't know, a couple hundred feet deep. And this is a pump, and this is a pressure bladder. This feeds the house through these lines, and... Uh, this is where the power comes in. And this is the new pump here. And this more sophisticated two and a half horsepower. The other one's a one horsepower. This two and a half horsepower has to be that because it's feeding a much bigger line up to the secondary dwelling and it has fire sprinklers. Uh, so it's uh, it's hard to explain, but it's this pump and its regulator was $4,000. <laughs> and that pump over there was probably a thousand period. You know, everything costs more. Anyway, it's a beautiful day. And I thought I'd just share it. Go back down around here, take it on back to the front gate.
my recent project has been to uh, trim the ceanothus. That's this green plant here. It's just overtaking everything now. So I've chopped it all back to where there's trails through it pretty much everywhere. I still got more work to do on a lot of it, but you can see it's I'm trying to get it more clumped. Stop it from, see this plant wants to take over that one. So I've got to come and make a clear path between them. And uh, also the, uh, I'm always forgetting, the rosemary or whatever this is, needs to be trimmed back, get it more clumped up get the pathways going through there. This has bees, bees, bees. I think you can hear them. And this is another fence line we have to monitor back here although it's much more difficult so it's completely covered in vines and stuff cactus and you name it this is kind of more the realm of where the dogs hang out here's our five acres next door an avocado orchard beyond and there's coyotes over there all the time. <laughs> you can just hear them. Oh, this guy died. Interesting plant. I had another one die and I turned it into decorative curly branches for um, plant for the some of the plants. I'll show you that later. I'll have to take this one out and do the same thing. Just recently cleared this all out here. Um, it was just taking over this pathway we couldn't get around. This is all, by the way, trumpet vines. They're not in bloom right now. This is what happens when they go off. But this is all just those pink and red flowers. And uh, back over there is the bottom acre and a half or so, which is no man's land. <laughs> this is my pitching range here. It's a good 90 yards. I got to the point where I was blowing all my golf balls into my neighbor's yard, so I kind of quit that. There's still probably 150 golf balls out here someplace. Here's one. Right there. <laughs> I like Easter eggs. Completely lost the dogs. I don't know where they're at. And let's go back up my new trail that day. I put a staircase in here the other day. Very proud of. Just some boards that are uh, backed up with some rebar stakes like that. Fill it in, put some gravel on top and then leaf fall just completes the process. And it, we've had a good amount of rain and I was worried it was gonna blow the whole thing out, but it, it hung in there real well. Okay. It's a nice view of the greenhouse. Oh, it's glory. Some things love the rain, other things don't. I notice this guy is looking real good. Barrel cactus are just, nothing can stop them. They're great. Here's my flat cactus. This thing is so funny. Completely flat in that direction, or flat one way and then on edge this way. <laughs> Just 
knows where the sun is, I guess. These uh, agaves are just monstrous. They're huge. And that, that guy is easily eight feet tall now. And then finally the butterfly ideal. It's uh, here's its sad demise. Um, we're, we've done some replanting of some stems and things like that, but it's just whatever worms and things are left here, they're just sort of on their own now. There's not much we can do for them. There's still some uh, new chrysalis around. Let's see, we'll see how they work, but it's the end of the season. The butterflies are pretty much all gone. I haven't seen any. This is the new bed. We've made it bigger, twice as big. Recently framed this in to make it bigger. So in a couple months, we'll get back at that. Okay, well, that's the report for Christmas Day. 2021, I guess. Is that what year is this?